ok now let us see how can we increase the output swing of an operational transconductance amplifier so um, you have this So, you have your input transistors here, then you have this, then you have this here, let us say this is input nodes as V m and V p. Now, you can see here like uh, you can see that these two are high impedance nodes and what about the output? This is not an high impedance node because you have a gate drain connector device here. This is not an out a high impedance node, you also have a gate drain and this is also not an because this is a source of an MOSFET. So, you have to mirror this current somewhere here so that you can take your an output here and then you have so you can just see uh, now, this is an high impedance node and you have the inputs which are the high impedance nodes. So, now let us see uh, what happens actually like if you increase if if you increase this node. So, this node comes down. So, this node increases. So, what happens if you increase this node? this node comes down that means, this transistor is on and this transistor is on uh, bringing up. So, this transistor is on pulling down your output. So, um, so now let us see uh, what is the uh, how does the frequency gain of the um, amplifier changes. So, now you have what is the low frequency gain now? So, you can see that now you have used an uh, uh, ca uh, cascode current meter load. So, definitely your uh, gain has to be open circuit gain has to be increased. So, it is actually because your GM is increased. Uh, so, uh, your uh, gain will be increased which is equal to it is similar, but G m n times R 0 p in parallel with R o, R o n in parallel with R o p. So, your R o n and R o, R o p is now actually the uh, current uh, devices which have larger sizes. So, you can see higher or not. So, in a similar fashion you have your gain falling down till unity gain frequency. So, now the unity gain frequency is given by the same thing G m n by omega C l. Ok, you have an output capacitor here. Now, what is the rate at which what is the slew rate required for your C L to get charged or discharged. So, now uh, let us say you have an bias current I D flowing here, you have an I D flowing here. So, um, it you have an 2 I D here. So, suppose if this the if this is off, so the total current flowing through here is 2 I D. So, the same is mirrored in this circuit which is 2 I D. So, so, your d v by d t is now equal to 
टू टाइम्स आई डी बाई सी एल सो दिस इज एक्चुअली द फोल्डेड कैश कोड एप आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ द ऑपरेशनल ट्रांसकंडक्टेंस एम्पलीफ 